السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري ويسر لي أمري ويسر لي أمري وحلو العقدة من لساني وحلو العقدة من لساني وحلو العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي بسم الله um, This video is gonna be something that I want to tell someone and at the end of the video you'll know hopefully who I'm talking about but um, this is to someone that I really at times I didn't really understand um, oftentimes I would look at how this person would would approach a situation and be upset with her because she came about it the wrong way when in reality she was just finding herself and and she was growing through like her own growing pains you know this is someone that I would blame for not having friends or not being popular because I just didn't understand why she was like that and this is this is to someone that I should that I should have been more proud of and that I am more proud of her and this is this is to me this is to my past self you know a lot of times when we when we think of our history when we think of the person that we were and the person that we want to be we kind of almost separate it like <clears throat> your past self is a completely different person than who you are now which is which is not the case you know we should embrace the Oftentimes, I would look at how this person would would approach a situation and be upset with her because she came about it the wrong way when in reality she was just finding herself and, and she was growing through, like, just to someone that I should, that I should have been more proud of and that I am more proud of her. And this is, this is to me, this is to my past self. You know, a lot of times when we, when we think of our history, when we think of the person that we were and the person that we want to be, we kind of almost separate it. Like <clears throat> your past self is a completely different person than who you are now, which is, which is not the case. You know, we should embrace the journey that we've um, that we should embrace our journey. We should be proud of our journey. We should, um, like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel like now looking at it, I wasn't as proud of the same exact person as I was back then, you know? And yeah, it's something that really would annoy me is like when someone would compliment me. And they would say, oh my God, or you're this, this, this. And then along the compliment, they're somehow saying, you're not this anymore. You're not this anymore. And I'm just like, you do realize like you're talking about the same exact person. But I'll tell you that I would find myself being like, oh my God, really? Like happy that someone would tell me that I was better. But it's like, you should always stick to the person that you are and and be proud of even your mistakes because they brought you to your present and they're going to lead you to the future and you know we make mistakes and we don't understand it and and not only do we not understand it but we don't even appreciate it and we're just like why do I always do this blah 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 but it teaches you a lot about about whatever it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is meant to put in your heart you know and it teaches you a lot about endurance and it teaches you about sakina and you wouldn't be able to live your life without having made these mistakes you wouldn't be able to live your life without knowing you know really these these challenges that oftentimes we put our own selves through are are a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and there are ways of God teaching us um, what to do when we reach a fork road between right and wrong. And so honestly, 
I'm really grateful for my past self and I'm grateful for my present self and I, I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know allows me to to look back at my present self my past past self and be grateful because at the end of the day we should be and we should be proud of ourselves and and we shouldn't we shouldn't be so cynical of ourselves and break break ourselves apart you know honestly we have other people doing that for us unfortunately we don't need to look in the mirror and say i don't like this and this and this about me you know we should we should see that even the even physically the imperfections of our physical features make the make the most perfect form of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know and we have to trust that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not make mistakes um at least i'm talking about physically um in terms of like weight loss and like i'm only talking about this cuz just came in my head. I'm just going to talk about it. So when I gave birth to my son, um, Ibrahim, he was, uh, I, I gained quite a bit of weight, like a good amount. And so like, like even when we, we traveled back from uh, Lebanon, Lebanon, they would, the officer would look at my picture and he'd be like, you can go. <laughs> Like he was really surprised that that person was me. And even physically, I would look at pictures back then and I would feel really, really trapped. And I would feel like, why am I so fat? You know, and I would feel so like depressed, especially when people would come up to me and they would tell me like, are you pregnant? And I'm like, no, I just gave birth though, <laughs> you know? Or like when I would, you know, go to the, go to the store and I would try on clothes and I would go through a fit because I'm just like nothing, nothing looks nice on me anymore and I'm and I'm now ugly and and I'm now this and that and it's like my present self looking back on those pictures I'm just like I had Ibrahim, I had like Ibrahim a miracle you know like what seriously like why do we think about these things like and 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 I should have been so proud of 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 my weight gain I should have been but I was really ashamed and I was really embarrassed and I was and I went through a lot because of it and and I guess the good part is that that's what motivated me to to lose it quickly because I just, I didn't like the way I looked and I didn't like the way I felt. So I did something about it. Sure, I guess in a way it's kind of a good thing because, you know, it's healthier to lose weight. But we shouldn't be so critical of ourselves all the time. Like seriously, like while I gave birth to, to, I mean, not even a baby. Like he's, he's a miracle to me. Like he's just a, the greatest blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he's the greatest zina of this dunya. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed me with him. And, you know, back then I was I was I was too distracted with my own insecurities that I didn't get to embrace um my baby. And honestly, I, I really don't like giving advice to mothers or or to spouses. I don't like giving advice just because everything's individual and I just I mean honestly, like everything's circumstantial and individual but i will say that if you do gain weight it's going to be okay and to love your body no matter what and to just kind of like let nature take its course and you know um and i think when you start and and something that happened with me was and i kind of said something similar in my uh in my other video about about marriage, which is which is kind of funny though, um, the parallel. But once I started to accept my body, once I started to be like, okay, fine, you know what? I'm gonna start investing. I'm gonna buy clothes. I'm gonna buy nice clothes. Like there were, there was a very long period of time where I didn't buy a single item because, because I just I'm like, first of all, I'm like, I'm gonna lose this weight, and. If I buy clothes, then I'm I'm accepting of my, of my body right now, so I can't buy clothes, and so I would 
not buy clothes, basically. I don't know. And every time I would go out, I would never feel confident. And and I'd, I'd just keep wearing my pregnancy clothes, basically, until um, I was just like, no, I'm going to look fashionable. I'm going to look cute. I'm looking going to look presentable, even though I have I have this body. And I started wearing I started watching like what not to wear and and seeing like what kind of like what clothes I can wear with with the body silhouette that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me. Um, well, I kind of gave it to myself. So that was okay. But anyway, so, um, so that was the first part where I was just like, I accepted and I was like, okay, you know what? This is, this is, this is, this is what it is. This is what God gave me. And I'm okay with that. And then once I, once I started to do that, I started feeling m more confident physically. And I was like, okay. I can do the next step. And then I started working out a little bit. And then I started, um, you know, it, like portioning and all that stuff. And then, and then lo and behold, five pounds after five pounds, after five pounds, after five pounds, I'm not where I used to be, but I'm good. <laughs> anyway, I'm good. Alhamdulillah. So that's just, um, you know, just accept who you are, accept the, accept the path at where you are. Um, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of everything else, inshallah. Just, just, but be proud of yourself. Be proud of your past. Be proud of your present. And, and, you know, push yourself to a great future for yourself because, because you are, you earn that for yourself. Um, don't be hard on yourself. What, seriously, that life's too short. You know, do what you can to be a good person and, and as and just tell yourself that if I'm doing something for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is no fail. There is no fail. When you're doing it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you're doing it for self-actualizing and becoming a better person, there is no fail. There is no such thing as there is no significance of like the nitpicking, you know. Like, I'll give you one last example and then I promise I'm I'm done. But um so when you, um, so I had a azime, which is basically like a dinner party. And one of the, one of the things that I made was a uh, kusa, which is, it's kind of like squash. Um, I'm sure there's a name for it, but anyway, so what you do is you carve it, you carve the, you, and you make it really hollow and then you stuff it with meat and rice basically and spices. And so I, I most of mine come out really like, ripped and torn and whatever and but at the end of the day like when it comes on the platter and like first of all those those rips that I was like nervous about and like uh, frustrated with it when I would make a tear they don't even show and I think it makes the meal taste a lot better so anyway you guys you can relay that somehow like you know just these little things that we think are such a big deal they end up sometimes even in our favor so just sit back and relax and just do what you can and pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants you the tawakkul to um just the tawakkul you know just pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows you to um be faithful and and yeah that's that, that that's just about it and I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us to, you know, believe in him. And I pray that we're, we're able to look at ourselves in all forms and be grateful and say, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. And I pray that we're able to always constantly better ourselves. Um, and yeah, As-salamu alaykum. Wal-asr inna al-insana rafi khusr illa ladhina amanu. Wa'amilu s-salihat wa tawasaw bil-haq wa tawasaw bil-sab. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
wipe my brow, wipe kept my brow, pushing, kept pushing. I couldn't see how I couldn't every, see how every sign pointed straight, pointed to, straight you. to you. And every long, 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 long let me to wear, let me to wear you. Mother super mother super they were just no, they were just no. Yes, God.